Hello, what is up, internet folks? Um, Joel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Messing around with a cool brand new pedal by Death by Audio called Rooms. It's like when there's like PDA with you and your partner in public, you're like, get one. A room, get a room, right? Rooms. It's just a reverb pedal, but to call this a reverb pedal is like, you know, calling a iPhone a phone, right? Does a little bit more than that these days. Uh, this thing is pretty nuts. Basically, it's a reverb pedal at heart that has six modes, and it has some very intuitive controls that allow you to get many interesting sounds that you would not normally be able to make with a standard reverb pedal. The first mode, um, to me, kind of like the most traditional standard is the room mode, where it's like a room reverb, and it sounds great. And the cool thing is, you can dial it in and get a real subtle, like, always on, like, I like the sound of this reverb. This is gonna be my main reverb. It doesn't have to be all special effects and crazy all the time. You can get fabulous standard reverb sound. We go to mode two. To my ear, at least, it sounds like it's creating a reverb out of a ton of closely bunched together digital delay repeats. And obviously, depending on where you have your, your dry and your effect level set, you can make things really wild. Like if you get rid of your dry signal completely, and then it's just this like, like it kind of shoots off. It's pretty cool. I don't know how to describe it except just making mouth noises. The third mode, it's like wah, right? It's like a frequency envelope and you get to pick kind of like the resonance of the frequency and the frequency here. Mode four, gate mode. This is gated reverb. This is just Phil Collins drums in a box. In this mode, I was getting the best gated reverb sounds when I had the time on the, uh, the actual trail set pretty low so that it wasn't just drooling on forever. You could really hear kind of like where the, the gate goes, cuts down on the, on the reverb. Pretty cool setting. Um, again, for me, it's kind of like that, that thing is in my head, it's like one type of sound and it's cool, not something I would use a ton, but I appreciate that it's here because again, bang for the buck, right? That's what you want. This is my favorite mode by far. It's not even close. This mode for me would be worth the price of admission on its own, especially having the alternate mode because you can have two wildly different modulation types set up. You could have one big, wide, slow movement chorus, and then you could have like a wild, crazy, like pitch bent vibrato and just go boop, 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 click between them, depending on how they're set with the alternate controls. And then so the fact that you have separate wet and dry that you can actually mix and blend, you can really get like whatever you can think of in your head, this depth will send the pitch so much further than you ever want it to and it's nice to know it's there. And then this frequency knob will make it as slow or fast as you could possibly want and then you can blend and mix and match your wet and dry to get any level of chorusing or vibrato as you want. And again, this is all not even taking into account that you've got this time knob that just adds in 
the actual like the length of the reverb if you want the reverb too and i haven't even gotten to the sixth mode and i'm already like done like i'm i'll buy it now mode five the wave mode for me is just delicious wonderful This mode, very, very kind of hands-on, tweaky. You just kind of got to sit down and spend a little bit of time with it to find kind of what works for you. Again, the beauty of having the alternate mode so you can have two separate, because you get a lot of different sounds in the gong mode. You know, if you want to be able to have something that's cool and has like a sparkly kind of alien reverb, but still musical that you can still use in a song in a way that you would traditionally use, kind of like in a special effect reverb, it's there and then you can go to the alternate mode and have it just set to be just bonkers just bonkers alien gong laser noises. And just the fact that you can get in like beautiful traditional reverbs, beautiful pads, incredible modulation, many different types, just all this stuff kind of built into one pedal and it all sounds as good as it does. It's hard for me to not recommend this one. You know, one bite, everybody knows the rules. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I love this. I would recommend it highly. I'm probably gonna pick one up myself. I give this a solid five out of five stars. It's great.